When somebody says that they are a spiritual person, what do they mean? Uh, this is uh, something that I was asked recently in a forum, and uh, I think it's a brilliant question because it's not something that we typically think much about. And especially in the spiritual realm, spiritual seekers rarely take a step back and really look at what it is they're really trying to do. Uh, usually they have a felt sense, an intuitive sense of what spirituality is about. But what is it, what is it about if we you know, try to bring it out into the light and really look at the essence of spiritual practice? So there are many different practices around the world that comfortably felt, fit under the heading of spiritual. But I think that there is a a certain common thread that unites them all. And it's this. Spirituality is about seeking connection to the spirit of the world. At this point, you might be saying, okay, well, very good, Daniel, but what is the spirit of the world? What does spirit mean? Uh, well, spirit, the best way I think to understand it is to understand uh, a similar concept, a um, related concept, which is soul. Now, both of these uh, have typ typically a supernatural connotation, but really there's nothing supernatural about them. They're both about essence, about the true nature of something. And uh, in the psycho-spiritual literature, uh, John Wellwood and uh, Bill Plotkin and others write about the, the difference between spirit and spirit and soul. Soul is the essence of an individual entity. So this is the essence of you as a person, who you truly are in your deepest, most authentic place. The essence of, um, you know, a piece of, of music, the, the essence of... Um, a certain, you know, your, your pet, your cat, your dog, the essence of that entity. Now, spirit, on the other hand, is really the soul of the universe. That is to say, it is the essence of reality. And spirituality seeks to connect with that essence. Um... Rather, someone who is practicing spirituality seeks to connect with that essence. Now, there, um, you can divide the the world of spiritual traditions and religions uh, into ones that follow a spiritual path uh, or a spirit based path, and one that ones that follow a soul based path. This is a distinction that uh, the Bill, Plot Bill Plotkin talks a lot about. And a tradition that is, uh, focuses on the spirit tends to focus on uh, the mind, on meditation, on the light. It is the upward path, says Plotkin. Traditions that focus on soul take the downward path. And... This is not downward in a negative sense, but it is downward into the earth, downward into the mysterious waters uh, of our soul. It is downward into the underworld. Uh, it has uh, connotations of, of death and, you know, grittiness. The, everything that it comes with being, uh, you know, a living creature on this earth. And so spirit, the, the goal is to uh, get in touch with the universal. It's to connect with um, the soul of the universe, the soul of reality, and ideally enter into union with it. Now, this soul is sometimes called God, Allah, Tao, uh, the source. But it's, 
important to recognize and realize that the soul of the universe is really the very same thing as the soul of the individual. Because every individual, every person, every entity, every creature, every thing is a part of this universal soul. And so there's really no difference between pursuing the upward path of spirit and the downward path of soul. Really, they both get you to the same core. Now, unfortunately, historically, this is not how um, religious traditions always uh, viewed this distinction. Most traditions, uh, the main uh, large world uh, religions, will mention both paths. You know, in, in Hinduism, there is, uh, you know, an emphasis that the Atman, the universal soul, is the very same as the Atman that we each carry. That we have the universal soul within each one of us. And within the uh, Kabbalistic Jewish uh, mystical tradition, uh, it's said that we carry a spark of divinity within us. And in Christianity, the kingdom of heaven is within. And so there is in uh, the major world religions an acknowledgement of this uh, of this outward and inward um, kind of parallel, uh, you know, and in, in the occult um, uh, kind of tradition, there is that um, saying that you know, as above, so below; as without, so within. Now, historically, the um, the downward path, however, the path of soul, has been considered less than. Uh, the path of spirit. It's um, seen as a descent into the underworld, a, a descent into darkness, and at best it's sometimes seen as um, a necessary descent so that you can ascend again. Um, and at worst, the downward path has been demonized, quite literally demonized, and made into the devil, made into hell, made into... Um, that which is illusion. And this, you know, uh, oftentimes the, the traditions that focus more on soul are more earth-based traditions. These are um, kind of more shamanic traditions, those that, um, you know, are in touch with, uh, uh, Bill Plotkin says, more, tend to be more in touch with the feminine. They're grittier, they're darker. Um, they're not uh, evil. Although the religious, uh, you know, spirit-based uh, traditions might frame them as such, they are really another legitimate and equally important, equally important path to the same place, which is this uh, essence, this connection to reality, which we can achieve either through a descent inward into our the core of us or reaching outward and a union with the universal. So that, I hope, gives a kind of uh, high-level uh, map of uh, these two, of this division between spirit and soul. And spirituality, ultimately, is this uh, pursuit of connection, of uh, felt, experienced connection, with the essence of our reality, whether that is our inward essence or the outward universal essence. They're both getting at the same thing. Uh, there's something else that I guess it might be important to mention. Uh, what is the difference between spirituality on the one hand and philosophy on the other? And I think that, uh, you know, the way that philosophy is understood, at least today, is it's an intellectual pursuit, one that tries to understand the world, understand existence, much uh, like uh, spirituality, but, but does it from um, a rational perspective. And it seeks to hold it at arm's length, hold the world at arm's length, to be able to maintain um, clarity, intellectual clarity and control. 
Meanwhile, the spiritual path and the spiritual tradition is about communing, connecting with the world, letting it wash over us, letting it wash into us. And it's about uniting and feeling, experiencing this, this reality. Not just knowing it, but embodying and feeling it. And ultimately, I think that that's what spiritual, spiritual traditions are trying to, um, trying to get us uh, to feel. They're not so much interested um, in, in the rational. You know, religions, you know, uh, big traditional religions will bring in, you know, philosophy. They will bring in the rational uh, and they will combine that with, with spiritual elements. But I think one of the reasons why in the past century we, we've started to distinguish between religion and spirituality and why so many people today say that they are spiritual but not religious is that they're, we're more and more interested in that felt sense of connection, not just an intellectual uh, connection, not just philosophizing and thinking and like knowing intellectually that, oh, there, this is the way the world works. No, we, we want to feel it because that's where the juice is. That's where the power is. That's where the heart is. And, you know, if, if nothing else, spiritual practice helps usher us into the heart of life. And, uh, you know, that's what makes it worthwhile. Thank you for listening. Um, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer around uh, spirituality, awakening, the psychology of all this, drop them in the comment box and I'd love to answer them either in the comments or in a future video. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and yeah, if you're interested in finding out more, head to my website, also in the, co also in the description. See you in the next video.